Hi there. I hope you have completed last previous two exercises. Now we are into exercise number three. Okay. And this will be very, very interesting. So with this, let's start. So here the interview scenario is password expiry in next seven days. Okay. You have been given an Excel file which contains names and password expiry date. So your Excel file contains only two columns. One column, it has names. And the other column it has the password expiry date in the excel file okay from the entire excel file you have to notify user whose password is going to expire in next seven days that means in that excel file you will find out in next seven days from today who are those people whose password is going to expire you have to notify okay so you have to how will you design this workflow so create a simple design uh, so notifying could be various ways you can um, try to drop an email there are so many ways you can think of but we are not worried about that all we wanted to know how will you design it okay for this example you can show a message box as a prompt in the message box you can show the user hey uh, your password is going to expire so how will you do that how will you build your logic okay so hope the question is clear um, so pause the video here and try to do it on your own okay only when you need help or you wanted to know how i have done it you can continue to watch this video and match with how i have done it okay if you could do it or if you are able to do it or you have completed this exercise please do mark comment yes um, on the comment section uh, of the youtube channel so just comment so that i know that you have done this exercise and i'll be happy that people are uh, following what i'm trying to build uh, to help you for your interview preparation. Okay, so with that, let's get started. Okay, so in the studio, the first thing is it is saying your data should be in an Excel file. Okay, so let me design a quick and simple Excel file which has a data. So I'll take name and I will take expiry date. So you also create a simple uh, Excel file. Okay name and password exp expiry date okay so here i'll take some two or three names for i will say a next person is let's say b and next person name is let's say c okay and i'm going to write the dates so i will write the date for example april 28th 2021 what is today's date today's date is 23rd of april okay uh, then let me write uh, may uh, 30 2021 and let me write another one is april uh, let me write in a different format 04 uh, and then i will say 24 hyphen 2021 okay so this is how your data is there let's say okay so out of all of this this a whose password is going to expire in next seven days because today is 23rd okay it falls in next seven days and the person c whose password is going to expire in next seven days so these are the two output it should show me it should show for these two people a and c okay b is outside right it's may it's more than seven days okay it should be less than seven days within next seven days okay so our excel, excel file is ready let me save it and start designing it in the uipath studio is it clear okay now the very first thing i will do is i will read that excel file so i'll use read range activity you can either go with excel workbook i will go with workbook okay and here i am going to select that particular excel file which contains my data done it's there in the sheet one let's check that sheet one okay expo hub test file okay fine and here i want to read the entire range of data so i will remove this put a double quote is it clear until here okay and this output should be going to a data table control plus k and i will say dt okay i have created a data table which is going to store that data all right so once this is done next thing i will do is a for each loop i will run for each row simple now in the for each row i will mention the data table which is containing the excel data done okay 
after that after that what i will do once it reads through all the data i wanted to see how the data is coming generally when you read it from a data table remember the data will be in the object format it will not be in the date format or string format so i have to use assign activity okay and here i'll create a variable control plus k and i'll create a variable called expiry date simple so right now i'm reading the data from the excel and i'm creating a variable called expiry date okay and ensure this expiry date variable which you have created go to the variable panel and here this should because by default it is string right so you have to click on browse for types and here simply type date and time date time okay and here what you do after typing date time just scroll down okay go to system date dot time even you can type this this particular page becomes slightly slow let me type system dot date time okay so this way also you can find out fine so i have got the variable changed let me click on okay so system date and time okay now what i want to do this is very very important okay in the assign activity values i am going to write the expression for it so let me enlarge little bit okay so how will you first is you need to understand the data which is coming from the excel file remains in object format so it remains in object format so there is a necessity for you to convert into date and time so for that what you will use you will say convert dot to date time okay this is very important convert to date time so i am going to convert and in the bracket i will write row the column name is 1 so it is going to convert that data into date time okay so row bracket 1 means this one right starts from 0 and this is 1 so in the column 1 right okay so row 1 is going to convert it to date time format is it clear okay now once this is done i will use a if activity okay i'll use a if activity and the if activity i want to check if it is less than or equals to 7 days okay for that what you do if you have a message box or open a message box and here in in this activity i am going to right click and click on create test bench okay so what is this test bench i have covered in the debug playlist so test bench is the place where you can do certain experiment it's temporary xml file so you can do some experiment and if works fine then you can take it copy paste it to your main one so this is the test bench you know a bench or a place to test okay so i have created a test bench and here let me show you something so there is something called now okay now is nothing but your system date and time okay now dot okay there is something called add days okay there is a um, method called add days so let me do it again now dot okay now dot add so it is coming add then type days okay so here i want to check what 7 i want to add whatever today's date is i'm going to add next 7 days right i'm going to add 7 so what is the output of this you have to understand okay so let me simply run this and show it to you what is the output of now add days so today is 23rd plus 7 okay so let's see the output Let me hit on continue. Okay, so you can see the output has come April thirty. So today was April twenty three. So next seven days April thirty. Fine, it is showing the entire date, isn't it? Okay, wonderful. So what I'm going to use is 
this exact one I am going to use this exact thing I am going to use so let me copy this expression let me stop it and let me copy this expression to my main so here I will copy go to main and here I am going to write something so our date is storing in the expiry date right it is taking the data from the uh, excel and this variable is going to contain that particular date so here I will say expiry date less than equals to this formula now dot r days is equal to 7 so I have shown you what is the meaning of this right okay so you understood if it is less than or equals to 7 days then it should show a message box so let me write a message box and here in the message box I am going to say hi you can write in double quote say hi okay then give a plus sign and the name of the person so name of the person is in row 0 right row 0 dot to string clear this is done then so it will say hi Rakesh so here give a space after hi writing writing hi I am giving a space so hi space uh, a or B or whatever right that is going to come and here I am going to write again give a space and write expire your password is going to expire on give a space and here I am going to give a plus sign again and I am going to write that date so that particular date is there in expiry date right so I will say expiry expiry date okay expiry date dot to string I mean I'm, because it's a message box okay done so my expression has been written now let's see if it is working or not okay so because I am using a workbook activity I have to ensure that the excel file is saved and closed so you can see my dates are in various different different formats so it doesn't matter so let's see this let me close it okay done now let's run this I'm going to run it okay let's see so it should show me two things right one is your uh, uh, the name a and c okay hi a your password is going to expire on 4 2021 which is false within the next seven days so our logic is working click on okay then it's showing hi c your password is going to expire so both the people it has shown even though the data was typed in different formats isn't it so it is working perfectly fine for me okay so this logic if it is asked in an interview if you know convert to date time and now dot add days these are the two learning points that you should make a note of okay i hope this kind of examples are building knowledge in you and you will become very very strong i'm going to build as many as exercises i could think of i'm going to build all that which is going to give you that strength of knowledge for ui path interviews okay guys so thank you so much please type your comment if you have completed say yes uh, please give a like if you feel these exercises are helping you thank you so much you guys have a wonderful day bye bye